I'm not going to be using my sunglasses for the next 20 minutes to half an hour. Why? Getting sun exposure, first thing in the morning, in your eyes, like it's getting in right now, is very, very important. It sets the trend for the day. One to five minute exposure on a bright day like today, where the sun is getting into my face. But don't look at the sun directly. Don't wear your sunglasses. But do some breathing. I did my Jalniti first thing in the morning. I looked at the sun without my sunglasses to basically set my circadian rhythm. What is the circadian rhythm? Uh, the circadian rhythm is before we invented watches and clocks. Human evolution for the last 200,000 years has been focused on the sun coming up and the sun going down. Man slept when the sun went down and man woke up when the sun rose. This is called the circadian clock of the human body. All species have a circadian clock and all of the circadian clock is linked to the sun. So charging yourself with solar energy, you know, we talk about solar panels and all. Well, we are a true solar panel if you ask me. So the sunglasses are delayed by about 20 minutes. You can wear your specs or contacts. That's absolutely fine. But this circadian rhythm setting sets your mood. So I remember once in the Kwanshan clinic, I had this lady working in USA and she was extremely depressed. And whenever she used to come to India, she said, I'm not depressed when I come on holiday. She says, the holidays make me so happy. Then I asked her, where do you stay in the US? So she said she stayed at Seattle. I said, is it cloudy? Is it gloomy? She said, yes. So I said, I want you to do something when you go back. I said, I'd like you to spend half an hour to 45 minutes outside on a cloudy day. You still get the sun exposure, not as powerful as this bright, sunny, sunshiny day in Bangalore as I moved to the airport. But she said she would try. Within 15 days, she called me up and she says, I'm feeling so much happier. My co-workers have told me that I'm happier. Now, there was a research paper in UK where they found that in the winter period, people were more depressed. Why? In winter time, the sunlight is much lesser. In fact, when I studied in Scotland and I had gone there when I was a young man, 21, 22 years of age, I remember that um, I landed in September, October. So that was okay. Suddenly in November, one day when I'm coming out, I'm noticing it's four o'clock in the evening and it's pitch black. So that means two or three hours of sunshine is lost. When we lose this sunshine, our sleep patterns get affected in the night. So another thing that I do is in the evening, I try to get exposure in the sun. You will find me taking my counseling calls with my clients, five, six, seven. Just when I get 10 minutes break, when I finish one call, I go out onto my terrace or in my office, I go to the fourth floor, which is the top floor of the building. And I try and get a little bit of sunset exposure also. Because at that time, there's lesser of the blue wavelength and there is more of the orange wavelength. The orange wavelength hits your pineal gland and you move towards winding down because it releases melatonin. So by just getting the evening glowing orange sunset, if I can, I know that my sleep that night is going to be much better. So coming back to the study in UK where I studied in Scotland, um, what happened is when I was there, I used to feel homesick. But I felt homesick only in December, January and February when it was cloudy and less sunshine. So today, I understand when that study was released that most people are getting depressed also because when you get lesser sunshine, you have lesser vitamin D. And they call vitamin D the sunshine. And when my clients and most of us Indians, wherever we live in the world, have lowered vitamin D, do a simple vitamin D3 blood test uh, because that's really going to help you understand the clarity of your thinking. Are you going to be happy? Are you going to be sad? So when somebody comes to me and says, uh, you know what, I, I don't feel good. I'm putting on a lot of weight. Now, why do you put on a lot of weight? Try and go to the gym for one year with full enthusiasm, with low vitamin D levels and no sun exposure. You don't have the heart 
not the energy you don't have the heart to push yourself which is why most weight loss programs fail because people put on their sunglasses too fast they don't get exposure early morning many of us are getting up at 9:30 10 and if you see a lot of the night shift workers they are the most chronically depressed and irritated people when you meet i'm very empathetic towards people who work at the night shift because they are really struggling to change the body clock so if you're getting the night shift you have to focus on your vitamin d levels you have to eat cleaner you have to get omega 3 levels and that's one person who works on the night shift who needs these glasses uh because before you go to bed you don't need the sun because it's wake going to wake you up because you haven't slept the whole night so that's information for another video but i've got my sunshine for today um it's about 20 minutes so i'm going to get my sunglasses on to protect my eyes because you know what you can change every cell in your body few cells that don't change much the brain and the eyes